Oh my goodness, the first reading of 2021. Hi everybody, welcome to 2021. So excited, hope you had a nice holiday. Um, I did take last week off and I didn't say anything, but here we are with our first reading. I'm sending you the intention of joy and flow this year and all the beautiful things. So let's get ready. We're going to be using the goddess cards today. They jumped out at me, so we'll be using them. Go ahead and ask yourself a question and I will pull two cards and decide if you're going to be answered by card number one or card number two. Okay. All right. Calling in all the goddesses today. Do you any, have any favorite goddesses? I love um, Mary Magdalene, Green Tara, Isis. Those are my faves. Okay, Question, card number one. Huh. Quan Yin, compassion, sorry. Just got a new light, it's a little bright. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Okay. So this has been coming up a bit. So this is about doing your best to not focus on what needs to change within other people, you know, because we all have opinions about who needs to change what and who needs to heal what and if they were just only more woke or blah, blah, blah. Um, and having these like, you know, ideas of what other people should be doing and really turning within ourselves and trusting that as we start to heal and up level within ourselves and as we start to rise and all that, that everybody around us will either, you know, not exist or they will follow through and start to, to meet you. So um, do what you can within yourself to start uh, changing your environment, including the people around you. No, we, everybody has free will. No, we cannot change people and no, we cannot control that process. But the more love that we have within ourselves, like that is very contagious and people will pick that up eventually, or they just won't be people that are in alignment with you anymore. So we really have to, to, um, remember that. This is also about compassion. So this card is about, um, giving yourself, and she, if you know, she's like in a lotus flower and that we're this like ever opening thing. So giving yourself some compassion when it comes to your evolution and to your becoming, that this is not all those goals that you've set for yourself, that um, they're not gonna happen overnight and to allow yourself to go through the messiness and um, the kind of awkwardness that comes with blooming, okay? So really allowing yourself that time in that space with no judgments. So, and I'm just going to leave you with a question. Like if you weren't judging yourself, what would you do? Right? So the answer to this card is also that at the end of the day, if you were not judging yourself, if you were not judging the other person, if you were not judging the situation, what would you do? What, what chance? And when we release judgment, what's left is the love that's within us. So, okay. Card number two. Let's see, coming forward, all the great goddesses. Oh guys, remember, this is the last week to sign up for Soul Seeker. So I'd love for you to join. Um, I'm gonna be doing live sessions with all the Soul Seekers. It's our level one program for um, connecting, you know, reading energies, everything that I teach is the level one. It's like my little babies, my newbies, where we start. We, t we talk about meditation, things like that. So if Having a deeper intuition and spiritual life is on your to-do list for 2021, which it should be because we are just going to need it more and more. Um, join, okay? Soul Secrets, uh, the link is in my bio. So many of you have already joined and I'm so excited. Every time I see each of you sign up, I'm just like, oh, I'm so happy she's in. I'm, she's in. So um, join. Okay. Funny, we have an, a similar card for number two. This one is Easy Does It. You see that? There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Okay, so this card is about, you know, obviously like patience and knowing that it is happening. So, 
any of us who are starting new goals or new intentions for this year, really just starting them by knowing that like whatever you've decided for yourself, like tone it back, you know, like whatever your expectations are for yourself, tone them down because it's just too much like that kind of that push and that pressure. Um, there's no need to like hurry or force, but this is also saying that, um, as you take these steps forward to decide that like, it's already happening that like what you are, um, what your new intentions are, that this is working, right? That like what you're doing is working, that it's happening, um, not to set these intentions and come from a place of anxiety or nervousness or a place of lack, like, Oh, I must do this. If not, this is going to happen. But more of a place of like, I'm doing this cause I feel like this is, you know, what's going to bring me there. And I'm excited to do this. So really it, it just seems like you're kind of, um, coming from, a place of fear towards this intention rather than a place of love. So you may even take the same actions, but, um, love is a little bit more flowy and, um, it's easier and it, it's going to have the less, the least amount of bumps in the road is what I'm getting. So come from a place of like, this is working, no pressure. This is fun. And really trying to make it this like, positive experience in order to, to get through this thing that you're going through. Um, okay. And there's also a component of timing here because it's talking about everything is occurring in perfect timing. I know none of us like to hear that. We all like to know that it's going to happen right now. Um, so this is kind of just a reminder that there's certain things that have to fall in place in order for this thing to occur. And just because it's not happening right now, doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. We have to trust to some degree that this is going to happen when you're ready to have, when it's, when you are ready for it to come in. Now, if you want to speed up that process and, and be ready for that to come in right now, you have to basically collapse the timing. So if like you're here and that future self version of you is the person that has this thing, whether it's the relationship, the money, the job, whatever it may be, like you have to start to show up as this person and be this wake up every day as if you were that person. And that's how you like collapse the time and that you can move the timeline up. But right now I am getting that like, this is going to come in the, in a timing that is right for you. That if you were given $10 million today, you might lose it all because you're not that person yet that can handle the $10 million. So whatever it is that you're trying to bring in, if you want to move up that timeline, ask yourself like, who is the person that can handle that thing that's coming in and how can I show up more like her? Or some of you might know that you just need some time for that to come in. So one or the other. Okay. But there's a lot of space for things to, to speed up, but but we have to be able to collapse that time by becoming. Okay. All right, guys, if that was really out there for you, well, you have to so learn soul seeker and I can explain that more. <laughs> okay. The more you spend time with me, the more you'll understand these things. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. Have a beautiful week. Welcome to 2021 and I will see you soon.